Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Zayner and this is my vlog 8-Bit Homo. It's kind of like a geeky, dirty, and dorky channel where I can basically express all of my weird, odd, kind of geeky fascinations with you all. Now, I hopefully will keep updating this every week. I plan on releasing a video every Thursday and hopefully make it interesting for you guys. Really, you know, get some, get some get some creative juices going and really get some videos out there that you guys will probably, hopefully, want to watch. This week, I'm going to kick off 8-Bit Homo with Pokemon. Now, from the trading cards, the anime, to the manga, to the video games, I mean, Pokemon has just been all over the place ever since I've been a kid. You know, I grew up in the 90s, you know, Pokemon just exploded like crazy. But, I got a bone to pick with Pokemon, okay? There are some unanswered questions that I would love to have answered, and, you know, there's no better way for me to express some of these questions that I have for the Pokemon universe than in this video. So, without further ado, I move on to my sassy unanswered questions that I'd love to have answered about the Pokemon universe. Now, the first question I have for the Pokemon universe is Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. I won't even get into, you know, the fact that there are like multiple copies of them. I want to go straight to the parents. I want to go straight to the source. Whoever the mom is that had all these children, she beats Octomom like tenfold. She beats a tenfold because there is no way that that woman is still walking around. She better be in a wheelchair or something because that vagina is not normal anymore. But that, that is not kosher. It is called a polka condom for a reason. You should have used it, okay? You should have used it. Just the fact that they all ended up getting into the nurse profession, you know, college education is not cheap. And I can only assume it is not cheap in the Pokemon universe. That's shit, people are making money off fighting each other. It is a recession in the Pokemon universe. I can only assume college education, you know, interest rates are through the roof. So yeah, she must be broke or she must be hella rich because she's got like an education like no other because all her sisters decided, oh my God, we're gonna all go off and we're gonna all, you know, go to college, become nurses for motherfucking Pokemon. Where the hell nurses for the humans? No, they wanted to all go into like veterinary service. All decided that they all wanted to do the same thing. Boring as shit. But, can I say that, you know, if anyone wanted to live, like, the fantasy of having, like, a 14-some, or a 15-some, a 20-some with twins, those are you people to go to. Now, my second bone I have to pick with the Pokemon universe is the fact that it makes no sense whatsoever that I can go, you know, to Pallet Town, I can go to, you know, all these other continents that are in the Pokemon universe and not know about the Pokemon on the other continents. Like, you know, it makes sense, like I get it, like you go to like, Japan, you go to Europe, you go to Africa, there's going to be different animals than there are on any of the other continents that you go on. But, does it make any sense whatsoever for, for, for Professor Oak, mind you, to not know that some of the Generation 1 Pokemon had baby types? Like, seriously? You didn't know what damn Smoochum became a Jinx? You didn't know what a Smoochum was. Like, this just blows my mind. Worst professor ever. Where the, where the hell did he get his college education? I mean, he sent a 12-year-old off on their own, giving them wild-ass animals, expecting them to defend themselves, you know, out there doing God knows what. And this man doesn't even know. Can we call Child Protective Services? on his ass because he didn't even know the babies existed, okay? Like seriously. Now for my third, you know, question that I want answered, I'm gonna roll back a bit to my previous comment about the economic state of the Pokemon universe. I wanna know how does a gym leader pay their bills because I have seen some of the gyms and you know, this new generation and they are not cheap. That, that electricity bill for some of those things, they have moving platforms, they got escalators, like that shit is not cheap, okay? There are like people in other towns that still use water Pokemon to get around. Again, it's called a boat. You should have used a boat, okay? Not a living creature. And I want to know, where do they make their money? Is this like a state-run, like government position? Like, 
Is there is there a, seriously a government agency made just to like give badges to twelve year olds? Like, come on, seriously, seriously, this is ridiculous. Yeah, how do they make that money? Do they steal money from like these little kids that come in and you know try and beat them with their Pokemon? Like, there is some screwed up shit in the Pokemon universe, and this is just one of them because. You know, I want to know how they're paying the bills. I want to know where all these people have their job. But they, they have roads and streets and Pokemon. You don't see anyone with a damn car. I don't know if it's just because they're eco-friendly, if they just want to save the environment. You know, more power to them. But that's a lot of money to build a road. And if you're only going to have like one or two cars, like play any of the games. Play any of the games and you will see there are roads, there are streets that you can walk on, but you will only see like two cars in the entire game. Like... What? This makes no sense. Like, they could have got, like, so much more done if they could have just used a car. Instead of, like, traveling through the wild and stuff. Like, seriously, get your priorities straight. Alright, guys, alright, guys. I don't want to get too sassy on you. But, um, you know, there, there, there are legitimately a lot of questions that I have about the Pokemon universe that I'd love to have answered. But, that does not detract from the fact that I love the games, I love the anime, I love the trading cards. Like, it is just... It is something that has basically grown up with me, and I still to this day like love a lot. And I'm really excited for Pokemon X and Y, so please um, like this video. If you love Pokemon just as much as I do, like share the love. And you know, I'm always, always looking for um, new topics to talk about. Each episode that I release every Thursday, I'm going to be covering a brand new topic, a um, geeky topic that I love. I mean, this could, they can be from like, you know, Doctor Who, they could be superheroes behind me, they could be anything, anything, honestly, anything. It could be something geeky, nerdy, dorky, or even gay. I'm all open and down for this. So please leave a comment below on any sort of geeky thing that you would love to see me talk about or experience or witness or anything of the matter. And uh, please subscribe, you know. I'm always looking for new geeky fun things to watch. So if you happen to have a channel that is, you know, fun, please send it my way. I will gladly watch your videos and give some input on it. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next Thursday with another video.